Southern Tier family wants Governor Patterson to permanently extend a law named for a murdered loved one. Kendra's law is named after Kendra Webdale. The Fredonia native was killed in 1999 when she was pushed in front of an oncoming New York City subway train by a man with schizophrenia. The law allows court-ordered medication of mental patients and is set to expire this year. A renewed push today to create Kendra's Law in New Mexico, which would require some mentally ill to take their medication. The effort comes one day before the four-year anniversary of the John Hyde murders. News 13's Kim Vias is here with more on this. Kim? That case is hard to forget. On August 18, 2005, John Hyde, a mentally ill man who was not on his medications, killed five people in one day, including two Albuquerque police officers. After John Hyde went on his killing spree, killing DOT worker Ben Lopez, motorcycle shop workers David Fisher and Garrett Iverson, and APD officers Michael King and Richard Smith, the city did pass its version of Kendra's law, but it was later thrown out by the State Court of Appeals, which said it conflicted with the state law. APD officer Carol Oleksik is a strong supporter of the law. In 2003, she was shot by a mentally ill man she was trying to help. That man also was not on his medication. Under Kendra's law, a mentally ill person who may be violent can be forced to take their medication.